Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're gonna do Vigilante Make It Out Alive. Let's get right into it. Let's go. <laughs> gotta make it out alive. Gotta make it out alive. Yeah. Gotta make it out alive. Gotta make it out alive. Yeah, you gotta hustle and try. Gotta make it out alive. Gotta make it out alive. Yeah, I gotta get what's mine. Gotta make it out alive. Make it out alive. Do it for the homes that die. Gotta make it out alive. Gotta make it out alive. Swear I'ma be more tired. It's easy as I cry. She ain't gotta be shy. Poor nigga for my niggas that die. Homies that's gone. That ain't never gonna home. Serving 25 L's for the song. I'm trying to get home. Making money all the songs by my old girl at home. With some songs. Yeah, I'm living out a dream. Big car, big crib. I mean, by any means, no work, no eat, working overtime, no sleep, can't be cheap, you gotta hustle every week, wolves out here trying to eat, niggas trying to creep, got no muscle for the week, they'll shoot a man dead in the sleep, gotta chase dreams, but not from the true beam, I could do a lot more than sell to the fiend, every day I see hearses, it's like the hood curse with curses, that's why I spit it through these verses, I got damn, we gonna have to run that back. Beam. I could do a lot more than sell to the fiend. Every day I see hearses, it's like the hood curse with curses. That's why I spit it through these verses. I got all these doubters hurting, but shit, I gotta get what's me. Heaven visits of a nigga that's living on the beach and sit at six feet deep. Like frying here, cheap, mess around, get trapped in the belly of the beast. Gotta make it out alive, yeah, you gotta make it out alive. Gotta hustle and strive, gotta make it out alive. Yeah, I gotta get what's mine, gotta make it out alive. Gotta make it out alive. Now look, what have I kept saying to you guys? Things is different in different areas. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to these type of issues, if you've not seen it and lived it, your perspective, you can't really talk about that. Unless... You at least listen to people who have seen it and have lived it. You know what I'm saying? Then you can talk about it. But from their perspective, not yours. You know what I'm saying? Here's the analogy that, that I could come up with. Right? If you walk out in your backyard and you say, everything looks fine here. There's nothing wrong. Meanwhile, in another state, they're having hurricanes and floods and all kinds of stuff like that. But you're saying, whoa. But you're walking out back and you say, well, my yard's fine. Right? It's the same damn thing. Just because it, things look perfectly fine where you're at. Does not mean they're perfectly fine everywhere else. That's absurd. Now. Don't talk about what you don't know. I see that all the time. If you ain't been there. Long enough. To have seen what they're saying is happening. Don't talk about it. It's as simple as that. Talk about what happens in your neck of the woods. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta clarify that. For the homes that die, gotta make it out alive. Gotta make it out alive. I swear I'm gonna be more tired. I can't lie. I got dreams of the coop. Rapping hella hard for the booth. I give you the scoop. These niggas just shoot. Kill a nigga dead for the loot. I tell you the scoop. Like the evening news. Pretty young girls get bruised. They days are confused. With nothing to lose. They'll sell that thing in the two. And on the block, fuck a dirty cop, they'll kill a young man on the spot. Even if he stop, raise his hands, no clock. Bye bye bye, get shot 17 times. Y'all hear that? We're gonna rewind it because I want y'all to hear it again. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to hear it again. Class is in session right now. Just shoot, 
Kill a nigga dead for the loot, I tell you the scoop Like the evening news, pretty young girls get bruised They days are confused, with nothing to lose They'll sell that thing in the shoes And on the block, fuck a dirty cop They'll kill a young man on the spot Even if he stop, raise his Y'all see that? He said, fuck a dirty cop. They'll kill us right on the spot. Because they don't care. You know what I'm saying? Man. Thanks is different. Over there. Thanks is a lot different. If y'all... You know, when y'all keep going around saying we're all treated the same, go over there and find out. Go to any ghetto. And get pulled over and see what happens. Not just one time, a bunch of times. I'm almost positive. It only going to take a few times. For you to get the wrong cop. Man. Things is different over there. There's no clock. Bye bye bye. Get shot. 17 times. Just fuck with your mind. You ain't worth the dollar or a dime. Can't even climb. Cause the poor you find. Praying hella hard for the sign. Every day I see hearses, it's like the hood curse with curses That's why I spit it through these verses, I got all these dollars hurting But shit, I gotta get what's me Having visits of a nigga that's living on the beach Ten to the six feet, the life right here cheap Mess around, get trapped in the belly of the beast Gotta make it out alive, yeah, you gotta make it out alive Gotta hustle and strive, gotta make it out alive Yeah, I gotta get what's mine, gotta make it out alive Gotta make it out alive, do it for the homes that die Gotta make it out alive, gotta make it out alive I swear I'ma be more time Go with it, your boy wanna be chilly Sitting on by half a billion, race to the city Call a nigga Maximilian, Papa Willis on the highway Feeling, feeling myself Hell a nigga can't help, rock a big shit all the time Self, spreading the wealth To my people in the hood, to the wood, let them know it's all good To the trailer parks Yeah, shit don't stop, all eyes on me like pop oh, Give it all you got, man. to the casket This Making me think of uh, Boys in the Hood right here You know what I'm saying? Man, that movie was sad You know, really sad that movie was That that part in the alley, man, that part is so hard to watch. You know what I'm saying? It really is. It looked like it was for no reason, too. Things work different in, in areas like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they just do. But what we got to remember... Is that a lot of people doing stuff like that? They've just became a product of their environment. That's the way things were when they were growing up. And when you go through stuff like that, it changes you. You know what I'm saying? It, it has a very negative effect on your personality. Not 100%. There's a lot of times when, you know, people can snap out of it as they're getting older and realize that they want to get past it and they want to make it out alive. Just like the song says. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the case for everybody. Man, this is a badass song right here. People say no, don't stop. Believe in your dreams. Do the do in the bang. Boys, you were meant to be kings. To the future queens. Don't fall for the scheme. There's a lot of things fake that gleam. Every day I see hearses. It's like the hood curse with curses. That's why I spit it through these verses. I got all these doubters hurting. But shit, I 
I gotta get was me having visits of a nigga that's living on the beach in city six feet deep, like frying here cheap. Hey, I thought that was gonna be a problem right there. <laughs> Man, I was getting a bad feeling about that. I guess it's cool with them. Okay. <laughs> I get trapped in the belly of the beach. You gotta make it out alive, yeah, you gotta make it out alive Gotta hustle and strive, gotta make it out alive Yeah, I gotta get what's mine, gotta make it out alive Gotta make it out alive, do it for the homes that die Gotta make it out alive, gotta make it out alive I swear I'ma be more tired Shit, gotta get what's me, gotta get what's me, gotta get what's me Yeah, living on the beach, yeah, I'm living on the beach Gotta get what's me, gotta get what's me Gotta get what's me, yeah, I'm living like a sheep Gotta get what's me, yeah, a nigga living on the beach. I gotta get what's me, having business of a nigga living on the beach, moving through traffic, living like a sheep. Bad for the hood, yeah, that's all on me, nigga. <laughs> gotta get what's me, gotta, gotta make it out alive. <laughs> Struggling strap, gotta make it out alive. Nigga, till the day that I die, yeah. yeah. Hey, that right there was a badass video. You know what I'm saying? Now, this man got on there and spoke nothing but facts. And I know a lot of people are going to see this and they're going to say that's not the facts. And have never been to a ghetto. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're going to say this is not facts. Then take your ass to the damn ghetto. For at least a year. Live in the ghetto for a year. You'll be a different person when you leave it. Because like I said, you become a product of your environment. A lot of times, that's how it works. You know, a prime example of that, rehabilitation, prison. They call it rehabilitation, but that's not what it is. You're actually training people how to be bigger criminals. That's what you're doing. Taking a... a person who's in a bad situation and you're making it worse in my opinion that's why we got the damn ghettos it's because the system ain't built to help people when they get in jams like that instead anytime someone gets in a jam they take them and they send their asses to prison and make them worse my opinion is when people that are in impossible situations, instead of being there to make their situation even worse, why not change the dynamic and help those people? You know what I'm saying? Have some faith in humanity. Instead of always... Judgment, judgment, judgment. That's why this situation is like it is. You know what I'm saying? We got to start doing better. Got to start doing better. You know, I can't believe... I can't be the only one... That knows what the problem is. The problem is not. Black people. Like what. Fox News would tell you. Fox News is wrong. <laughs> black people are more likely to be violent. That's hogwash. That's stupid. The way I see it. Every single human being has the same opportunity 
as anybody else when they're being created. The, the main differences from what sets us apart is life experiences. You know, saying if I grew up in Mexico, sure, I would still look the same, but I wouldn't talk the same. I wouldn't dress the same, would do anything the same. Everything else would be different, but I would still look exactly the same. You know, if you grow up in, in somewhere else, you're going to talk like them. You're going to dress like them. You know what I'm saying? You become a product of your environment. So we got to stop blaming and judging so much. Start to have some compassion and understanding. That's what it's all about. Now I heard on Fox News. Someone on there. I've said it quite a few times now. He said well you're more likely to get shot by a black guy. And I said that was horrible. That was a horrible and stupid thing to say. Now, a more accurate statement would have been, you're more likely to get shot in the ghetto. Okay? Because the only difference in ghettos, trailer parks, anywhere else like that, the only difference is poverty level. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just poverty level. When poverty level goes up, so does the crime rates. They go hand in hand. That's the only difference. I mean, and, and keep in mind, it's not their fault. It's not. It's, it's the systemic racism. That's what has done it. The system was built to hate poor people. That's the fact. It really is. Now look. So I came up with a perfect analogy to explain to you guys what I mean by that. Now imagine if you were playing Monopoly, right? And the first person that goes bankrupt, okay, they're going to get a hundred percent of all their debts paid and a thousand dollars every single time you go bankrupt all your debts are wiped out and you get a thousand dollars now think about the dynamic that that would change how much longer would the game go on if that were the case. It would be damn near infinite. Now do you see what I'm talking about? Because as it stands right now. When you're playing Monopoly. The deeper the hole you get into. Okay. The harder it is to come back out of it. That is a perfect example of how the, the history repeats itself. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. So, in business, think about it like this. Does it not take money to make money? Yes. It takes money to make money. And we're talking about profit. Okay? Okay? Stuff that you can, you earnings that you can make without having to work for it. That's two different things. When you're talking about working minimum wage, that's not profit. Because you're having to work and you're having to earn that. When you're making minimum wage or a little bit above it, okay, 
and you're taking care of your kids and paying your rent and paying your utilities and everything else that's not leaving you enough money to use that towards you know getting yourself out of out of poverty you know what I'm saying it's just not now suppose you win a small lottery let's say $10,000 right which is quite a bit you know that would definitely be enough to get them out of poverty right but what possibilities would open up to that person at that point they could start a business they could do all kinds of different things they could do investments they could you know if they if they use it the right way they'd be set for life but the system was not made to let people that are in poverty to get out of poverty very easily you know what i'm saying it's just not now so i was watching one of trump's rallies it was a recent one i was going to react to part of it but they, apparently they deleted it before i got a chance to which I wasn't too happy about that. But right at the beginning. They had this guy come up there. Wearing a nice freaking suit. And saying. They were against. Raising taxes. Because they want. Everybody's wealth to go up. So I'm like, and then what are you going to do? If they lower your taxes, what are you going to do with the extra money you get from your taxes going down? Are you going to give it to areas with high poverty? Are you going to do anything for anybody else? He come up there wearing a nice freaking suit. I don't see him giving any suits out to anybody. And that's what I was going to bring up if I got a chance to, to show it. You know, who specifically are you going to help with your lower taxes? Because the way I look at it is, if you lower taxes on somebody, somebody else's taxes has to go up to make up for the difference. Okay, because each state, they can't just take losses like that and not make up for it. So something has to give. Your school, your public schools need funding funding for the roads you need funding for the public library for everything all kinds of different things needs funding so what are you going to do you're going to have to have toll roads everywhere right then you're going to have to pay there's going to be no more free public school for your kids that means now you're going to have to pay for them to go to school. I mean, do you really want to let these assholes keep getting tax break after tax break after tax break? I don't. The system's got to change. In my opinion, the people who need the tax breaks 
are the ones living in poverty. They need the tax breaks. Not necessarily saying the rich people need to pay more taxes. But they should pay something. They shouldn't get to buy a $5 million house and pay almost nothing for it. That's not fair. You know what I'm saying? The system is broken, y'all. The system's broken. All right, I'm going.